hey guys welcome back to my channel what's good what's up today is a hair tutorial i haven't done one of these in a while um yeah how have you guys been so today we are working with ellie pearl okay and i'm gonna be slaying my sister's hair i'm just showing you guys everything that came in the box like from down to the lashes the little brush everything um it literally came with almost everything that i use to do her hair when it comes to um, the little band and all of that so yeah they came in clutch with that stuff anyways I'm gonna show you guys the wig today we are gonna be promoting the 24 inch straight lace frontal wig the density is 180 and she's wearing a size medium in the wig cap uh the lace is definitely HD guys so I'm gonna show you an up-close view of that once I get to that um part of the video but um, the lace is definitely HD and I bleached the knots off camera. So what we're going to do is get into the video with gelling down her um, hairline because we want to make sure it's out the way when we add the cap. Now guys, I did update the technique of doing my frontal. So I'm going to show you guys just a little snippet of what I do now. The technique is definitely different from when I did my last hair video, y'all. I've been practicing and trying to get my shit together, okay? So, stay tuned for the rest of this video. I'm going to cut the ears open just so I can set the cap where it needs to be. And I'm going to use that same gel to put on the cap so it can lay it down. And I'm going to sit her under the dryer until it dries completely. So guys, now that she's from under the dryer and completely dry, we're going to use the makeup Ruby Kisses. Well, from Ruby Kisses. And I have literally so many different palettes from Ruby Kisses. Their foundation normally be, you know, on point. So I love their, well not foundation, I have to say it's concealer. Sorry guys, had it mixed up. Their concealer is always on point and it comes with different shades in the palette. So you can get two shades for one. And that's how I do it. I just have all the colors. So I'm just cutting off the excess cap guys. I did speed it up just a little because the video was kind of lengthy without it being speeded up. So that's why it's going kind of fast. And I'm sorry for blocking the camera. But it's kind of hard to record y'all without getting in the way. Like I kept looking back trying to make sure I was recording right. But anyways we're just cutting off that excess cap. And we're about to clean the perimeter of her head with 70% alcohol only because they didn't have 90% where I went. So 70% will work. Um, I'm just cleaning off any excess makeup, gel, anything that will make the glue not stick. So like I told you guys, I did bleach the knots off camera and that was the outcome of that. I did have to have the bleach sit on there for a little while, maybe like 20 minutes. Normally I let it sit for 10, but the knots wasn't bleaching as fast, but I... I'm not sure. I don't know. It just wasn't bleaching, you know, as fast as it, as it would normally bleach in 10 minutes. I used a 40 volume developer, so yeah. My dryer is going off. Please don't mind that in the bag. Spin the bang roll now. All I gotta do is say cheese. Yo, ho, oh, her knees. Right in front of me. Got two Glock 23s with a B. Cause a nigga won't test me. Turn this to the World War 3. Before I let them bury me, I fuck on Parisian sheets, bitch. Rich nigga, this Today we're going to be using Boho. I normally do the Boho Active, but my beauty store didn't have it this time, which sucks. But my Boho Active is what I go to because it has the best hold. And what I'm doing is putting two dots and basically I'm putting a dot on the cap and then a dot on her skin. So once I smear it, it'll all lay at one time, if you get what I'm saying. And I'm going to use four layers of this. I'm not sure if I captured me putting all four layers in the video. I don't think I did because that's just too much. But I did use four layers. And you want to wait till the glue dries completely clear. So it can lay properly and it won't be, you know, bulky and messed up. And it Because it will show under the lace. This is an HD lace. So you want to make sure this is like flat as possible. Even though you want all your lace to be flat as possible, but still, you get what I'm saying. Make sure the glue is thin. So as you can see, it did turn really clear. That's how you need it to be. Clear, clear, clear. Like you only put a thin layer.
Nigga talking down. Now I'm about to lay the lace into the glue. And after I do that, I'm going to take an elastic band and I'm going to tie it down. Without cutting the lace or anything, I'm going to tie it down and I'm going to sit here under the dryer for 5 to 7 minutes. Not too long. Just a few minutes just to, you know, melt the lace right quick. So as you can see, I'm just tying it and I'm going to sit here under the dryer for a quick second and then we'll be right back. But it's going to merge so you won't see a difference. <laughs> My first try, put VVS on my timepiece. Real time, no lies, please. That's how you show you ride for me. When I get in my zone, I run them commas up. I'm a homie straight to go, that's why they envy us. Nigga want me dead, so I'm gonna call his bluff. Okay, now that I took the elastic off, we're gonna do a middle part, so I'm gonna part her hair first. And after I part her hair, I'm gonna take my hot comb just so I can flatten it out and get the part to stay still. Because middle parts are kind of tricky, guys. It's just like, for me, I just be like, I'm trying to find the middle of your head. And it can be kind of tricky sometimes. So, taking my hot comb just to flatten it so I, it can help me find the middle more precisely. And um, I'm going to go in with my little razor, which you can see I'm using right there. And I'm going to just take and cut the lace. And that's going to automatically give you a zigzag cut. And as I'm cutting the lace, after I cut little sections, I press the lace into her skin with my thumb. Angel, but I try my luck at me profit. Like I was supposed to bang, slip the posits. I used to tuck it all in the sand. If I said I couldn't, but I stayed focused. Maybe me big words, I don't fuck niggas all choked. Nigga talking down like Angel, he a bitch. You wish, nigga won't be down, you came with my... Now we are about to get into the baby hair part. Um, I'm going to put out where I want her baby hairs to be. It looks like I'm being rough, but y'all, I'm really not. I'm just trying to make sure she hold her hair right side and get y'all to see everything that I'm doing. <laughs> so we're just parting out her baby hairs right now, and then I'm going to come back on once we start to gel them down. Because this time I'm using gel, I'm not using mousse. So it's a different little, you know, laying or whatever. I told y'all I upgraded my products, and I've been doing different things. So here's a little snippet. Don't in my line, cause I ain't answering calls. Said you love me, you lied, and I'm too really take the fall. My old homies ain't die, this fate that got cut off. Can't look him in the eyes, but fucking we ball. Fucking we ball, fucking we ball out. Fucking we ball, fucking we ball out. My old homies ain't die. I'm now gonna take my handy dandy hot comb, and I'm going to hot comb. Everything behind the edges I just put it out because we want to get this part as flat as possible, okay? That is what's going to be the key to this install. You want to make sure your lace and everything is laid. As you can see, I'm also taking the hot comb and passing it through the little edges that I put it out because that's also going to make it lay flat. It's going to help you be able to mold it better and everything. So try it out next time you're laying in the front too. I'm telling you, you're going to fall in love. Now I'm going to move on to using the Gorilla Snot and I'm taking my Gorilla Snot and the little brush that you see in my hand and I'm going to use it to comb all of that hair back. I'm putting the Gorilla Snot all over her hair just behind the edges so we can have the look of sleek back. Like it's going to be very sleek and flat. It looks very natural if you think about it because look how flat it's laying like Sis, you want a flat install. You want people to be like, where the lace a? Because it ain't their business, but still, where the lace a? They trying to find it because they can't. Okay, thank you. I'm moving on to the edges now, and I'm going to be using that same gel to mold her edges, guys. But the only thing is, I didn't record the whole process of me gelling down the edges because it didn't record the whole thing. My camera stopped recording, but whatever. I showed y'all how I did that part. And I'm going to do an updated video if y'all want to see how I lay her, her hairline, like the edges part. I could do just a separate video for that. So if y'all would like to see how I created this hairline, just let me know. But I've been just, you know, trying different techniques. I think I do like the gel down edges now because I did do the most tight for a while. But now I just offer two different types. Like some people like the hard ones and some people like the soft ones. It just depends on how your client like it or whatever they like, you know?
Puff. So after you lay her edges, you want to take a um, neck strip and tie down their hair with it because I feel like the neck strip don't get as dirty as the elastic band because they do stick more. So what I do is I will try I will tie the neck strip on their edges and then I will take the band and tie it on top of the neck strip. I know you guys get what I'm saying. I know it's a lot, but trust me on this, okay? This is the outcome of her edges. And that's the elastic band that I use. But this time, since the edges is dry, I just put it on. Because you're about to see, I'm about to spray some spray and hot comb her edges. So you guys can just watch for this part. Because this is just a look and a learn for this little part right here. Made it disappear like magic. If a nigga test his luck, green light him. Let this shit turn out trash. The money popped up like poof. High bank rolls in the wall since size 15. We can fuck, but I never call you boo. I never settle down, never sell a dream. Gotta match my wanna be on my team. My homies about to be in the doom, shopping than me. Top flow, penthouse had a gang of my sister. I know you see how flat that is. I told you. Okay, so yes, it's flat as hell. Like, that's the flat I need. It's flat, flat. So we're going to take the same movie kisses but in a lighter shade and I'm putting it on her part because we want to make the part as crisp as possible so that liner, well not liner but concealer is going to define the part very much. And then we're going to take that spray and spray it right where the part is and we're going to take the comb and use it as like a barrier for the middle part if you get what I'm saying. And then after I spray that spray I'm going to take some, some hairspray and spray it on top of the spray so it can dry and you want it to dry and make sure it's not coming off or anything because it is wet once it's sprayed on but I didn't show you guys me flat ironing it but I wanted to show you guys just me flat ironing the top and how I go through my frontal sections each piece I pull from the frontal I take my hot comb and I will hot comb and then I will flat iron because it makes it lay very flat as you can see her hair is laying so flat Nigga talking down like angel, he a bitch, you wish Nigga won't be down, you can't hang with my clan, you wish Poppy tags, I spent your rent on my fit, you wish You lurking bad, wish you could So we are basically done at this point We're just cleaning her up I'm taking some hairspray and spraying it So we can get rid of some of the flyaways And then I'm going to hit it with some oil sheen But that's after I take off this band Look how laid her hair is, guys Like, she is so laid And she looks so pretty <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to take and spray some oil sheen. You guys can see I'm wiping her face off with some alcohol, trying to clean up where they had gel and all of that left. But here's the finishing look of her hair. It's really cute. Like, look how late we are. Make sure you get you some oil sheen, y'all, because the oil sheen really helps with the flyaways, which I am about to spray some on there right now, as you can see. And it helps keep the shine. Like, it just makes your hair look and smell good totally so make sure you guys check out the description box for the information on this hair i love you guys so much thank you for tuning in to my updated hair tutorial because this was a very updated type of tutorial i haven't did a tutorial in a minute and yeah i love you guys so much make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter at xeel underscore underscore and holla at your girl Comment below, tell me how I did, tell me how you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. For Range Rover, I try my luck and be profit. Like I was supposed to paint slip deposits. I used to tuck it all in the